first guest tonight is a gentleman of many talents in agricultural pursuits. He plays a carpenter turned sex tape thief in the true Hollywood story, Pam and Tommy. New episodes are on Wednesdays on Hulu. Please welcome Seth Rogen. <laughs> Getting dapper on me as the years go by. I am pretty. I'm not wearing socks right now, which was a real. Uh, it's Valentine's Day, so I thought I'd go with a sexy uh, <laughs> wardrobe choice. And uh, yeah, it's. Uh, it shows how pale. Like I mean, yeah. the contrasting color between my ankle and face is alarming. Yeah, it is. <laughs> but you know what? You guys just gotta deal with that. <laughs> yeah, you must you must really go wear thick socks because it would appear that your ankles have never seen the sun. Perhaps never, but they are but, but they're good ankles, I gotta say, on the grand. They're scale. solid ankles yeah, and yeah. um yeah, the whole body looks good. I feel good. Glad to be here. I know you're not a big sports fan, right? No, no, uh, not particularly. Yeah. No. I like buffalo wings, so uh -huh. that was a fun event for me yesterday. Uh -huh. I, I ate a lot of those. I had a, <laughs> I weird, I, I, I arbitrarily, I think just because I liked his name, had a Boomer Esiason poster in my bedroom as a kid. Really? So I always had an affinity for the Cincinnati Bengals, but wow. uh, but not enough to root for them. Boomer Esiason, the only human whiter than your ankles. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> this is in honor of Boomer Esiason's skin tone. So, well, that's very strange. Even though you weren't a sports fan, you yeah. had a poster of Boomer on the Wall, I would get whatever free posters I could and just put them all uh, over my who room. Who else was on the wall? Well, I had I had a Jean Claude Van Damme poster on my, yes. but I sought that out for uh -huh, sure. Right. Uh, I, had a, I had a Legion of Doom, the wrestlers, Hawk and Animal. I gotcha. had a Legion of Doom poster. <laughs> so yeah, directly above my bed, I had a poster of a man jump kicking another man in the chest, um, <laughs> and two roided out monsters with spiky uh, like uh, football apparatuses on uh -huh. their shoulders. Actually, I had a Shawshank Redemption poster on my wall, and I didn't see that movie till two years ago, uh, but. <laughs> I think I got it for free, and, really? I, and I loved it. When I finally saw it, I was like, thank God, it's good, because I... Uh... You, uh, it's funny, you think, because, well, I read your book, which was very funny. I really I enjoyed it immensely. Thank you. Uh, and one of my favorite little tidbits was how tickled you are by the name Sylvester Stallone. It's a weird name, right? Which is something I never thought of before. Well, yeah, I talk, and it's true, because... It's a name I grew up with. It's been in my life as long as I can remember. And I met Sylvester Stallone once at the opening of the Planet Hollywood Casino in Las Vegas, because the warehouse you meet Sylvester Stallone, that's when they let him out. Um, <laughs> it's time. Um, and, uh, oh, oh, yeah. and then uh, and I remember meeting him, and he shook my hand, and in the deepest, rumbliest voice I've ever heard, he said, I'm Sylvester. And at that moment, I remember thinking, I've never met another human with the name Sylvester. <laughs> and I don't think I've ever even heard of another human with the name Sylvester. There's one Sylvester. <laughs> Stallone and a cat. There's two Sylvesters. <laughs> yeah, right. But no, it was really weird. <laughs> but, but with the Stallone. <laughs> Sylvester Stallone, not a weird name. Sylvester just dangling out On there. Own. In. <laughs> Shocking to have a man come up up to you and say, I'm Sylvester. It's like, what? Whoa, how many syllables is that? I think it's all of them, really. It's everyone. It's a wild name. <laughs> you were uh, part of a Super Bowl commercial. You I was. and Paul Rudd did a Lay's Potato Chips we commercial. We did, yes. And it was very funny. Thank you. Um, yeah, it was a little alarming uh, in some ways, honestly, because when I started working with Paul Rudd, he was older than I was. <laughs> and now, I somehow passed him. <laughs> like I, he does look very youthful. He, I look old. If you, you would assume I was his uncle, if the two of us. <laughs> you, you would assume I was watching him or something like that. He, he looks so good, and it's, it's shocking. And yeah, I showed up on set, and I was like, damn. Wait, I, what happened? How did I pass you? Did they freeze you? <laughs> it, for, yeah, no, it was really uh, upsetting in a lot of ways. Were you at, like, a party, or were you watching it? 
with a small group, or how was it? I went to my father-in-law's house. Father-in-law's house. Okay. Did yeah. you make everyone be quiet when your commercial came on? No, no. no that no. would, yeah. That was would. everyone quiet when your commercial came on? No, they weren't at all. Really? People, no, people were walking all around, doing everything. You were yeah. sitting there, and they're just ignoring your commercial? I watched it alone as people were going, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Thank you for clapping, but yeah, literally. My, my, my father-in-law's like, the Swedish meatballs are ready, and everyone's like, ooh, and they clear out of the room as I sit there like, you really did it, Seth. Do you celebrate Valentine's Day, or are you uh, an observer? I, I'm celebrating it right now. <laughs> this is it. Um, I do, yeah, I, I, I try, yes, I celebrate Valentine's Day. Flowers and dinner and stuff uh, like yeah, that? Yeah, dinner, maybe, yeah, if there's a flower place between here and my home, then I yes, see. Uh, flowers, flowers as well. Well, yeah. I see. Will you uh, really stop? Will you like? Would you buy flowers from like one of the guys on the street with them? Uh, yeah, I've done that uh, yeah. from, a, from a, a street flower gentleman. Yeah. I don't know what their official, what they like to go by. <laughs> but uh, yeah, street, street florist. Uh, street I think florist, they're called. Yeah, I think a street florist, a street level florist. Yeah. Did you date a lot before meeting your wife, Lauren? I dated. Uh, yes, and I was a very bad. I was a ter. I was terrible. I was a bad dater. I, I, I had terrible experiences <laughs> dating women, and I think the women who dated me also did not have the best experiences. But the worst one, I, I had a, a woman that I was like casually, we were like hooking up, I guess, you know what I mean? And I was like 20 maybe, um, and she was a few years older. And uh, it was my birthday coming up. And so I asked her to, it was like, let's go out to dinner on my birthday. And I was like, I'm gonna ask her to be my girlfriend um, at this dinner on my birthday. Really? And I asked her, um, <laughs> around uh, when the appetizers were arriving, and she said no. <laughs> and then I started crying. <laughs> Had you already ordered the full thing? And then I was like, but also like, I, I was like, we need to eat, like we can't leave, like what, and she was like, it's your birthday. You don't wanna waste and the money, so, sure. Yeah, and like, I, there was a cake coming in so it's like, <laughs> we, so like I, I had to sit there, and this poor woman had to sit there with me as I like wept into my like truffle mac and cheese. Um, and yeah, and like, so yeah, as you guys know, as soon as I said, you know, you don't ask till the end of the meal. That was my big, Hold on, gonna, hold yeah. on, you don't even you ask. You don't ask that. That's you don't, not a thing not you a question. Ask. I, I was 20, I don't know. <laughs> I, was, I was so young. I guess you don't ask, will you be my girlfriend? No, that's not you a don't. Thing. I've been in a relationship for so long. I don't know what you do. Yeah. But now, so if you're watching kids, don't ask that. <laughs> and if you do, ask at the end of the meal. <laughs> Very good. If, yes, uh, excellent not advice. Not when the appetizers have come. Come, Seth yeah. Rogen is with us. We'll be right back. Where's Melty? He, uh, he went down uh -uh. the mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. It's all part of the game. You gotta eat two more. Let's try it again. Where is Melty? He went to Amsterdam. You know how it's the diamond capital of the world? He went there to... He's turning our money into diamonds. So you let your partner our partner, who controls all the money, take that money and leave the country. That is Seth Rogen and Andrew Dice Clay and Pam and Tommy. It's on Hulu now. It's a fantastic story, and it's, yeah. I, it's, it's a true story. It's crazy that it's a true story. It's totally insane. It's a wild, uh, it's a wild story. I think most people, including myself, did not know that Pamela Anderson and Tommy Lee's sex tape was stolen by uh, a disgruntled carpenter yeah. who, then, uh, who had a background in porn and therefore was able to disseminate it um, <laughs> through his porn back channels. Um, <laughs> It's a wild story, um, and uh, yeah, I play uh, Rand, the guy, the carpenter who stole uh, the sex tape. Yeah, and Andrew Dice Clay plays a mobster who funded the operation of duplicating the tape enough times to sell it, basically. Did you know Andrew Dice Clay before this? Only from his work, no. Oh, right. um, and I was really, honestly, intimidated and a little scared of him. Um, Why? As far as comedians go, he has kind of like a rough, persona and then you meet him and he's like an old Jewish man. Yeah, right. And, uh, yeah. and, and there's nothing less scary than an old Jewish man. <laughs> <laughs> At the end of the day, there's one and his name is James Kahn. And that wasn't him. Uh, and so, uh, yeah, um, it was, uh, no, it was great. And yeah, he said 
all day. You're like, I don't think you can say that anymore, Dice, but whatever. Go for it. <laughs> <laughs> you are also the executive producer of this show. Did yep. you always plan to, to play that character? Was that the plan from the beginning? It was, yeah. yeah. It was a, a character I thought I could bring to life well. Yeah. Um, I, uh, honestly, I was, uh, yeah, I was fascinated by how, like, what just like a, 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 a kind of, how little thought this man put into his actions, how kind of self centered he was. And so, yeah, that uh, was yeah. crazy, stealing that safe. And the guy, he used a rug to dress like a big dog to sneak past their security cameras to steal their safe. He actually <laughs> did that. And it worked. And it worked. And Tommy Lee didn't even notice the safe was gone for several months. <laughs> the um, Yeah, that's pretty crazy. And even crazier, one of the characters is Tommy Lee's penis. Yes. There's a character in the thing. Yeah, and I think everyone, because of my history, cinematically, I understand, people assume I imposed that on the show. Whenever I've gotten a lot of like, oh, of course, Seth Rogen made the, yeah, the penis sausage talk. party. That and, was yeah. not exactly. Right. I've done a lot of, I get why people think that, but that's actually from Tommy Lee's uh, book. Um, and he writes about being high on drugs and talking to his penis and having a conversation about being in love with Pamela Anderson and how um, that it's it's just it's just the three of them from then on, I guess, at that point. <laughs> uh, yeah. Jason Mantzoukas plays um, Tommy's penis. Jason Mantzoukas is Tommy's penis, yeah. That we... <laughs> I like to see how that is listed on his IMDb. I think it's Tommy's penis, yeah. yeah. We, we talk... <laughs> We talked about maybe, I, I was making a strong push for Chris Evans at one point, because I like the, the Marvel reference there, but I think that, that was, that the was too much. Why does the penis have a shield? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Um, we could have uh, used Chris Evans' penis, too. <laughs> I, um, I know you get asked about your, your mother a lot, and um, in fact, your parents have been on this television show. Yes, uh, they, speaking I, of penises. I find them very entertaining. Your mother is very open as far as sex stuff goes. Yeah. And I uh, think about <laughs> like about a week and a half ago, uh, this is something that, that your mom tweeted, uh, and I'd like to share this with the uh, audience here. She wrote on Twitter, you know how when you give blood, you get a little badge that says, I gave blood today? Well, there should be one that says, I had great sex today. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> and then you. You responded with these words. Burn this app to the ground. Yeah. <laughs> What's also... <laughs> I, it's gross. I don't know. But what's also funny is, like, it's such a mom tweet because there is, like, af at the end, there's a space and then the three dots. Like, no matter what, <laughs> no matter how gross it is, there's a grammatical error that only, like, a mother could miss. I, I cannot think. keep up with those things that are not acceptable now. Yeah, like, it, you learn to put, like, two spaces after a period. I don't period, know what it is. All and I know is, old. I didn't, my, my, I, I might have muted my mom on Twitter, honestly. For real? Because I don't want to see that. My sister just sent me a vomiting emoji. I see. And I was just like, oh, no, what happened now? And then she forwarded me, me that uh, abomination. Um, <laughs> Do you yeah. think she's doing this just to drive you crazy? No. 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 Not at all. No, she, not at all. No. Zero percent. I think she's just being funny. You and this is the stuff she talks about. Is there any chance, I don't know if there's a safe back home, that your parents have ever made a sex oh, tape? Oh, no. <laughs> 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 Man, I don't know how down far, far down this road I want to go but, <laughs> conversationally right yeah, now. Yeah, well, we'll leave, that, <laughs> we'll leave that to Andrew Dice Clay to hold for you. Uh, the series is called Pam and Tommy is on Hulu now. The great Seth Rogen, everybody. We'll be back with Tyler James Williams. Hi, I'm Jimmy Kimmel. If you want to see all our latest videos, click the subscribe button. And if you don't, click anyway and close your eyes when they come on.